welcome you back to the Debrinic channel. My name is Chip. How y'all doing today? It is Sunday, June 9th, 2024, and the current time here locally is 9.14 a.m., and we are talking about the Colorado River today, and the lake has changed. There has been a forecast for Lake Mead as well. We'll be getting into that, and we'll be talking about the snowpack as well, and let's get right out to it. We are going to go out to my favorite site, windy.com. As we scoot on out here, we can start out here right next to Blue Mesa down here by Gunnison. And you can see that there's going to be some precipitation as we scoot in here. Possibly 1.8 inches of precipitation here. Now, is this snow? Let's find out. This is not snow. This is going to be rain accumulation here in the Colorado River right here along the divide, which is good. This could possibly be good. Is this coming in 24 hours? A little bit. And then three days, a little bit more. Five days, a little bit more. And then 10 days, you're talking possibly 1.67 inches. And then down here by junk Junction 0.45 Utah and then over here by Steamboat Springs possibly 0.53 Telluride possibly 0.68 we scoot in here close to Navajo we are talking one inch possibly so we could use this this will definitely be good it definitely helped the precipitation and it hopefully this comes to pass and that is what we got going on there the European is not so aggressive they're calling for maybe 0.63 over here maybe 1.28 and that's on the other side of the divide so we will see which one ultimately wins out let's roll out to the flaming gorge and let's get this show started off as we roll out to the flaming gorge you can see that the current water level 6027.37 feet and that was sunday june 9 2024 at 9 a.m the level is 19.63 feet below full pool of 6047 changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.18 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is also up 0.8 zero feet over the last seven days the lake is down 0.22 feet over the last 14 days the lake is also down 0.08 feet over the last 30 days the lake is also down 1.29 feet over the last six months the lake is up 4.78 feet over the last year inflows are currently 2,984 outflows are 966 three-year bar graph in 2022 the level was 6,015 point 0.03 feet. Last year we were at 6,022.59 feet. Today we are at 6,027.37 feet. Percentage of capacity is currently 82.33 feet and we are going to Lake Navajo next. As we roll out to Lake Navajo, your current water level is 6,051.49 feet. And that was Sunday, June 9th, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 33.51 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.22 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 1.54 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 3.10 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 5.76 feet over the last six months the lake is up 7.25 feet and over the last year the lake is down 10.61 feet inflows are currently 2,461 your outflows are 375 three-year bar graph 6,028.84 feet in 2022 last year we we're looking at 6,062.10 feet so we were a little bit higher last year than we currently are at 6,051.49 feet your percentage of capacity is currently currently 70.08%. Let's go over to Blue Mesa next. As we roll out to Blue Mesa, your current water level 7,478.71 feet. And that was Sunday, June 9, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 40.29 feet below full pool of 7,519 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 1.02 feet over the last 24 hours. Changes in the last seven days, the lake is up 2.02 feet over the last 14 14 days the lake is down 2.36 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 8.09 feet over the last six months the lake is down 12.75 feet over the last year the lake is down 22.40 feet 
Inflows are currently 6,981. Outflows are 3,245. We are three-year bar graph. We're looking at 7,435.41 feet in 2022. We're looking at 7,448.52 feet last year. And today we're looking at 7,487.56 feet. Percentage of capacity, we are currently 59.39%. Let's roll down to Lake Powell next. As we roll out to Lake Powell, you can see that your current water level is 3,573.75 feet, and that was Sunday, June 9, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 126.25 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.68 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 4.47 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 8.33 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 12.24 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is up 4.20 feet. And over the last year, we're up 3.75 feet. So that's really good news for a change. We are up higher than we were last year at this time by 3.75 feet. Your inflows are currently 39,084. Your outflows are 10,085. Three-year bar graph, we're looking at 3,535.32 feet in 2022. Last year, we're looking at 3,570 point zero zero feet and today we're at three thousand five hundred and seventy three point seven five feet percentage of capacity is currently thirty six point two zero percent and let's go check out the snow graph and see where we're currently at as we roll out to your current graph you can see that the average is right here we are below average just slightly we are currently on june 9 78 point seven percent percent of mediums 194 and that means we are currently below average just slightly but it is june and it is starting to melt we didn't get as high as we did in the past so we'll take what we can get and there's more precipitation coming as we just saw so that's good news let's roll down to lake mead next as we roll out to lake mead you can see that the current water level is 1065.78 feet and that was sunday june 9 2024 at 9 a.m the level is 153.82 feet below full pool of one 219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.03 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 1.08 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 2.27 feet over the last 14 days. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 4.58 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is down 2.27 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 11.13 feet, which is good news. And let's go see what the inflows are currently 11,802. Your outflows are 11,208. So we're pretty close. Maybe they're going to slow this down a little bit and we should start retaining some water as they have to retain quite a bit of water each year now. It's a lot different than it has been in years past. So we'll see what ultimately ends up happening. Let's go to your three year bar graph 1,045.92 feet in 2022. Last year we were looking at 1,054.6 five feet on this date in 2023 and today we're 1065.78 feet percentage of capacity we're still in the yellow 34.28 percent so that's good it's not the red yet let's go talk about what the future lies for lake mead we'll go do that now so the bureau of reclamation came out with a, a statistic saying that the lake will not fall below 1000 feet before 2028 the figures were released on march 29th that's much improved outlook over the last several years there is one scenario that there's a 13 percent chance that the reservoir could fall below 1020 feet by 2028 we'll be watching this very carefully to see if this happens with your current water level 1065 that's a long way that would be over 65 feet that it would have to fall before it made it there so that's quite impressive a lot of people tend to forget that they have come up with a new water agreement for the next three years where california will not take as much and and neither will a lot of other states something else that we need to recognize here is that the Colorado alignment will cut additional 4,000 acre feet based on June predictions to Nevada. So we will see what ultimately happens there. We'll see if this has any impact. Now you remember that the seven states have agreed upon taking a cut. For, it used to be 9 million acre feet, but for the next three years, it's only 7.5 acre feet. So that's why we're seeing the drop currently at Lake Mead because they have to release the 7.5 million acre feet to match what they have to 
to release. And this time of year, a lot of agriculture is being used with that water that's being released downstream. And that goes all the way up the river. So parts of the river will retain some water right now, like Lake Powell's retaining water while Lake Mead's releasing it. However, they've received so much, they're 20 foot higher than they were two years ago at this time. So that's fantastic. Well, that's all I got to say about that currently. If you guys have any suggestions, leave those down below. And now let's go down to percentage of capacity at Lake Mead. And the current percentage of capacity is 34.28%. Let's roll out to Lake Mojave next. As we roll out to Lake Mojave, the current water level is 642.84 feet. And that was Sunday, June 9, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 4.16 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.06 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last 7 days, the lake is up 0.43 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 0.43 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.39 feet. Feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 3.31 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 0.04 feet. Your inflows are currently 16,396. Outflows are 16,293. Your bar graph, we're looking at 643.88 feet in 2022. Last year, we were looking at 642.80 feet. And today, we're at 642.84 feet. Percentage of capacity, 93.52% sent down to Lake Havasu for the final stop. Hope all is well. Supercharge, I haven't heard from you for a while. Hope all is well. And we will roll down there now. As we roll out to Lake Havasu, your current water level is 448.07 feet. And that was Sunday, June 9, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 1.93 feet below full pool of 450. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.49 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is down 0.49 point one one feet over the last seven days over the last 14 days the lake is also down 0 0.13 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 0 0.27 feet over the last six months the lake is up 0 0.86 feet and over the last year the lake is up 0 0.19 feet your inflows are currently 15,479 your outflows are 11,633 three-year bar graph in 2022 the level was 448.53 feet. Last year we were looking at 447.88 feet and today 448.07 feet. Percentage of capacity we are currently at 92.37%. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope all is well and we will talk to you on the next one. God bless.